The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Fuck My Life, and alongside me, I have wow. two excellent stand-up <laughs> comedians. First, he is the homosexual that we all know and love with the deepest voice in the entire world, Mr. JP. I think Luther Vandross would have something to say about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Do you know any other gay guys with as low a voice as you? Well, not after I get done with them. Okay, that's great. <laughs> I don't even know what I that means. I don't even means, know what that but... means either, but I liked it. <laughs> I thought it was Christ. funny, so I said it. And ladies and gentlemen, we have another excellent stand-up comedian. It's been a while. Uh, guys, please welcome Mr. Mike Baldwin. hey Hi, hey, fellas. Buddy. Hey, man. It's been a minute. Yep, it's been like uh, five you. weeks or five something, weeks? I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I missed you guys. I'm sure you did. You too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the alternative is Derek, so <laughs> I mean, that, I, mean yeah, I anyway. like Derek. I, I, I do, too, man. I, do too. I really do, too. Yeah. I we, like that guy a lot. We did a comedy road trip together once, and, and I didn't hate him. That's when, impressive. When yeah. I dropped him off That's that good. Night. That is impressive. Like, Could good. you imagine being out on the road with Derek and not <laughs> hating him afterwards? Actually, you are a really nice guy, Mike. You are, Mike. I think Derek's a really nice guy. I think that's well, what it you're was. you're wrong. <laughs> 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 no, Granted, we didn't talk about sports or politics. There or at is. all, it, apparently. It, it, that's, yeah, that's we didn't speak. Yeah. And I was like, this guy's all right. <laughs> this guy's okay. Oh, ladies he paid for half my gas. Yeah. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is an uh, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of this sh- one of these shows, uh, this is a comedy show where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend people with very thin skin. So if you're one of those people, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. That's right. We've got an excellent show for you guys this week. Uh, and a very depressing one all at the same time. Not to me. Uh-huh. <laughs> we have headlines. Uh, the uh, the Super Bowl hangover is what I like to call it. Uh, we're going to have Never Have I Ever and uh, JP's favorite part of the show. That's where I draw the line. And then we're going to wrap it up with some questions and preguntas uh, and a draft and a shitty situation. Uh, but before we get on to that stuff... We're going to talk about what's happened to us over the last week uh, and five weeks for Mike. And we're going to kick it off with JP because he's about as anticlimactic as you possibly can imagine. (laughs) Don't let that fool you, boys. No, did you do anything fun? Not fun. I, uh, yeah, so I had like four, five, six other people, hey, come for the Super Bowl, invite me Uh, over for their Super Bowl parties or whatever. And I've never done this before, but I just stayed home. Go. And watched it by myself. Uh, I've got a fucking huge TV. I know. I fucking went to uh, Carlos O'Kelly's, got mm. some fucking chips and queso. Nice. That's Ate huge. fucking two pints of queso by myself. <laughs> and uh, just smoked a lot and watched the game. Man, what a game. I, I swear. if What I a game. If, I don't care if, if you like if either I, team. If I would have known that that's what you were doing by about the end of the third quarter, I'd have called you up and been like, dude, I need to get high right now just to get I would this have fucking, off. I would have come and got you high, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. Don't you, you'd be safe around me. Don't you worry. Yeah, if I was sure. at home eating queso and high, I'd be like, yeah, I can't hang out tonight. <laughs> hey, I'm good. You'd be like, so, I'm on yeah, my man. way. Let's Fuck. talk and so, chit-chat. Yeah, so, yeah so I, was, I was surprisingly okay with it I'm like glad for normally you. i really look forward to all the parties and shit like that but yeah. i just wasn't feeling it i heard uh it was i don't know if it was the most watched super bowl in history or the most watched thing in history but i know it broke some kind of a record yeah yay so that's exciting yeah. so yeah other really. than that i uh thrilled 
So I've do had, you, are you, uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, no. are, uh, Scotty, are you just accepting that the Chiefs won or is it bullshit of some kind? I'm definitely along the lines of there's bullshit of some sort, but, okay. we'll, but we'll get there right. in a little bit. Sorry, JP, tell us about your uh, Yeah, did you life. do, uh, other than that... Uh, I worked a lot. I played video games. <laughs> I uh, smoked some pot. Bold? I, bold. Oh, I damn. did. I did. I can and just uh, predict stuff now. So, did you get late? <laughs> never. <laughs> That's worth a shot. Uh, yeah. God, I wish. Oh. I, I used to a lot when I was younger, and I feel like I just fucking used them all up. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I've just succumbed to the fact that I used them all up, yeah, and it fine. is what it is. So, but. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've talked about it, but I have a mouse in my room. No, you have not okay. talked. So I'm, and of course, I'm the biggest girl you'd ever want to <laughs> fucking meet when it comes to things like that. But about a month ago, I was playing fucking Xbox, and I thought I saw it out of the corner of my eye, but I was also extremely stoned, so I didn't know, was it just a shadow? Was it? And then like a week later, I heard it, and I was like, okay, it's fucking here. Got out of bed, went to fucking Walmart, bought traps. My room is probably maybe twice the size of this room. Oh, which, so, so sorry. No, no, no. You guys have no, no. idea. It's, it's, it's not huge, but it's not small. But I put 12 traps, <laughs> six of the snappy ones and six of the glue traps in my room. Mm. And I couldn't catch the motherfucker, man. <laughs> I fucking picked up all the glue traps one, all the traps one day, and went and got the fucking roommate's cat and carried it up there and fucking threw it in there, for, fucking shut the door for like an hour. That didn't do it. Oh, the fucking cat couldn't find it apparently. And so the other night, I can't even remember what day, what day it was, or what night it was. It was a couple days ago, I think. And uh, I was playing Xbox, and I saw it in behind my TV stand. My TV stand has a big fireplace in the middle. And then it's glass shelves on either side. Right. And I saw it on the left side sitting there fucking taunting me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you little motherfucker. I've literally got traps all over my room. How have you not found one of the traps? So I was like, oh, I got this motherfucker. So the next day before I went to work, I fucking put one of the glue traps in behind where I had seen it. And I was like, he's sure going to come that way again. And I got home from work that day and the fucking trap was gone. And I was like, oh, fuck. So I start looking around. He drug it on. It was, he was just on the other side. Oh. But he was stuck like Chuck. And here's the problem. I couldn't do anything with it. Like, yeah. There's wow. no way I can get it. There's no way I can even just get it and throw it away. There's no way I can touch it. <laughs> so I spent all last night fucking like. Just listening in to my a mouse bed. die. No, it never really made much noise. But I didn't know was it stuck good to the trap. You know what I mean? Uh, like, is it gonna, you so terrible every, like, human being? Dude, so every like twenty minutes, I was waking up and I would have my light on my cell phone and I'd be like, "Looking, is it still there? It's still there." And so I fucking went to work today and I called my little sister and I was like, "Hey, <laughs> can you?" I'm gay. <laughs> if if you didn't believe it before. So my little sister came over after I got off work today and took care of it. Oh, my God. Thank you very much. I'm not so, a fan of the glue. I am not either. That's so terrible. Sorry, to man. No, it's awful. It's better than having a mouse running around in my goddamn room. I, I had a pet mouse. Well, it was Ooh, an, an Me too. It was an infestation <laughs> mouse, but it became a pet mouse because I was like, I'm going to make this work for both of us. <laughs> I set up my iPad and I turned the video thing on and i took a paper plate and i put like some cheese and some peanut butter on it and stuff made him a movie night dude i had like a, a nice like 20 minute video of just an adorable mouse just eating <laughs> cheese and fruit and shit and i don't know what ended up happening to it i think i, I it, it just, probably came into my room <laughs> <laughs> it now it's in the trash away, can but, yeah. in a plastic bag yeah but those glue traps man that's like that's cruel it's to, yeah it's torture because it doesn't kill them like if you do catch one in that then you're only option really is to set it on the ground and fucking stomp on it look man i've done so many worse things so i feel 
I feel bad enough, and then you, you guys are. Yeah, yeah I do. You should. you should. I do, man. I do. But number I one, couldn't it wasn't have it hurting around. anything. It kind of was. It was killing like termites and stuff. Mm. It was helping you. Yeah, no, it was. Yeah. I can keep. I'll keep the termites. There was probably oh a wasp God. that was going to sting you and well, kill you. Now and, it's going to. So oh my that's probably God. what I deserve. So I got a question because it sounds like you're you're really gay when it comes to these mice. Oh, I don't stuff. like that. So do you scream like a little girl? No, he screamed like if it were to face. come at me. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so when we were younger, I was I was I was probably a sophomore in high school, and I came home one day and my sister had one a little, like a little ponytail holder. Oh, Jesus. but it was gray and it was fuzzy, and for whatever reason, it caught on my sock when I was walking through the living room, and we had a big old bar in the kitchen where we all used to eat breakfast and shit. And I leapt. It was like a fucking six foot jump. You thought it was an animal or something? I thought it was a mouse. I leapt and screamed from the floor six feet onto the breakfast bar, screaming like a little girl, (laughs) thinking it was a mouse, dude. But that's my whole thing, because I'm imagining you screaming, and all I can hear is, oh. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not like that. It's not. uh, It's the high-pitched one? Oh, yeah. Yes. That's so fucking hilarious. Yeah, man, not a big fan of critters in general. That's awesome. Oh, shit. Except snakes. I love snakes. Really? Mm-hmm. I you love snakes, weirdo. Too. Yeah. I love snakes. I don't know why. All animals. All God's Just creatures. Anything penis-shaped, love- really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great. So, uh, yeah, man. I mean, that was pretty much my week. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Damned exciting. <laughs> dude, you know what? That's the best one you've ever had on this show, I got to say. There you mm-hmm. go. Uh, yeah, give you some kudos, Mr. JP. Some fairy kudos. Fairy Very kudos. Well. Uh, but no, uh, how about you, Mike? It's been five weeks. Uh, it looks like you've been on the road a lot, and uh, you've cut some LBs, man. Yeah, I lost a few pounds. Good for I, you. Uh, I know how low carbs yep yep what did you i was gonna say oh i thought you had a joke way that you know meth or something (laughs) (laughs) yeah it had to be meth it's low carbs and meth (laughs) he doesn't have any more teeth but he look how skinny he is (laughs) no i'm still working on it i still got plenty of gut but i'm to the point now where if i was across the room i would be the bald bearded guy as opposed to the fat bald bearded guy nice and i i'm i'm cool with that good But, yeah, I've had uh, some shows here and there. Um, what do I got coming up? I'm doing shows in Wichita next week at uh, Vorshay's. Yeah. I'm excited about that. I'm opening for a guy that I'm a big fan of. And his name <laughs> is Barry Lamanac. Oh, I heard he's really good. <laughs> I've heard that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, either way, I'm friends with Steve, the owner, and I was like, I just want to open for somebody because I need to practice my new stuff. And, and he was like, hey, I got this Barry Lamanac guy coming. <laughs> you want to open for him? Well, I mean, he wouldn't have me open for somebody that wasn't funny because it would good. make it difficult for them and it would make the whole show not as good to the audience. And right. He doesn't want that. So I assume he's pretty funny. Um but anyway, I'm excited about that. What else have I done? I watched the Super Bowl also by myself. Nice. Uh, but not out of some like cool pride or whatever. I just <laughs> you had to. <laughs> no, I just I was in Rochester, Minnesota doing uh, shows all weekend. Yeah. And yeah. I, I left at about ten AM on Sunday and I drove all day and I got home at about six thirty and uh just turned it on. I was gonna like text around and see what everybody was up to but i just wanted to put my robe on and be a lazy piece of shit and man it was exciting Mm. i know i don't i don't understand how you can't support the local team but regardless i thought it was pretty fucking great to Mm. see just any even if i'm not a fan of either team i just like to see a close game at the end and it was close and it was exciting but what else did you do Jeez, over the last five weeks. I mean, how was the trip? How was the trip to Minnesota? Oh, did you want me to tell that story? I sure. I, I made sweet love to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the the comedy club was in the hotel that I was staying at, so they had it was it's. I don't drink anymore. That I always used to be my favorite thing when I drank because then I could just get hammered and like stumble my way back to my room, but. Regardless, it was still cool because I met a girl at a, at the show and she ended up stumbling back to my room. <laughs> so yeah, it was fun. That's uh, good. 
Her name is Anne with, oh, a, with an E at the end. Good for you for you knowing you remember. and remembering her name. I only That's remember incredible. because of the E at the end. Oh. And, and when I can get into specifics with people, it helps stick in my brain a okay. little better, you know? Yeah. But Good for you. Yeah, I don't know what else I've done. Uh, some grandma stuff here and there. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't look at him like that. You know what I mean. <laughs> My grandma's 93. I have to d- go pick up prescriptions. And <laughs> what I went couldn't through help your it. Head. Like, I couldn't just, help it, man. Uh, I was just looking at you to see if you were thinking the same thing. No, and, of course I'm not. Okay. My my mind is nothing compared to how dirty yours is. No. I know, but like when I, uh, if I'm looking at porn or whatever, sometimes a, an ad will pop up and be like, do you want to have sex with old women in your town? And I'm like, no. <laughs> no. Don't even put i don't even want to jerk off anymore now i'm just going to sleep i'm just going to bed jesus christ uh Uh, anything else fun down there mike i don't think so i've just booked a week of shows in tampa florida hell yeah but that's not till november well uh which is exciting i love booking comedy months in advance because then it gives me a chance to book other things so if you're watching this and you live in whatever states are between kansas and florida (laughs) and you want to have some comedy in november then hit me up my name's mike there you go (laughs) (laughs) my name's my name's mike and i like to fuck oh wait that doesn't rhyme that's right don't need to that's right uh well what's up with you scotty tell us your story well yeah, for, first things first uh happy valentine's to everybody out there today oh yeah uh, wait of, is that oh it's of, tomorrow all of you all of you yeah well we record on a day and then the day that this comes out it's valentine's day so yeah. all of us that's why i'm wearing my diaper yep all, in honor of valentine's all of us people out there with a significant other that are better than everybody who doesn't good have for you, a man. good day <clears throat> with your spouse or significant other. Yeah, good for you, man. And fuck these guys. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, hit me uh, up. My name's Mike. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Mike. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I, I, I think it's the dumbest fucking holiday in the world. Uh, I, I, th- I think it, if you have to have a holiday to go out and get something or do something for your significant other, and that's a shit holiday, and I hate them for doing that. Well, you that's should be true. doing it randomly. You, you could say that about every holiday. It's true. I, if you want to like buy gifts and put a tree in your living room, then you should just be able to do that anytime <laughs> yeah. without fucking Jeremy Jesus Joseph does having it, to die. Jeremy Joseph does God. it eight, eight months out of the year. <clears throat> so. Oh, I have a Christmas tree 12 months out of the year. Yeah, some right? people it, do. It's currently a Valentine's Day tree. That's good. Uh, but yeah, happy Valentine's Day to it all is. of you out there. Um, we, uh, I did. I obviously I have I have my my Super Bowl situation uh, that uh, was very disheartening. Whenever you live in the state of Kansas, uh, naturally you're going to be around a shitload of Kansas City Chiefs fans. Yeah, and so uh, I got to spend uh, the Super Bowl with uh, my brother, who doesn't give a fuck about football. But his absolutely amazing fiance is a diehard uh, Kansas City Chiefs fan, nice. and she's one of the ones that don't piss me off. Like they've had season tickets since like the, her family has since like the eighties, so it's like she's suffered yeah because they got the them shit. really cheap. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so it's like okay, I, I understand that. Uh, but all of the people who don't know anything about football and say they're a diehard Chiefs fan just absolutely irritates the fuck out of me. Um, other than that, man, I didn't really have a whole lot going on. Uh, it was kind of a, a dull weekend. Um, I, uh, I was really excited, and I, I, I know this is not a political show, and I don't, but I, I, I have a, a very weird uh, obsession with uh, certain things. And uh, I was able to watch an interview of probably one of my top ten most hated people I've, I've uh, like in the world today. Yeah. Um, yep. And, and who uh, is that? Any random black fella? <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> you! Uh, no, uh, that's Vladimir Putin. Uh, it's a mm. weird thing that I I get into, uh, and especially like it's it's like a fucking election year and shit, and so that's when I really start paying attention. But over him and him specifically, I get like really into everything that you don't hear in in the media and stuff like that so i'm very well versed on it and i was very excited to have him try to explain himself on why he's a fucking piece of shit and i don't care uh uh, I, i mean i don't care who interviewed him it that doesn't bother me i think it's really important to want like to listen to people especially when they're homicidal fuckheads like he is and um 
it was, uh, I don't know. I think I, I've, I heard a whole bunch of people that also kind of broke down the whole interview and I didn't like how people were, sh- were telling people not to watch it because it was going to be a propaganda mess. It's like, no dude, you, even if your opinions are different, I think it's important for you to watch it and pay attention, but be able to criticize it and be critical of it. Um, but, uh, it hit like fucking 200 million views in four days. Mm-hmm. It's fucking impressive. So I'm obviously not the only motherfucker that got really into it. 80 million of those were the Kremlin. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you watch video again. <laughs> no, it just no. shows that that um, people are interested yeah. yes, in hearing these sure. things that yeah. the the people in power tell us that we shouldn't be that's listening, why. That's, listening to. That's exactly right. If somebody's telling you you shouldn't do something, which I, I mean, I am not a huge um, Tucker fan, uh, I guess, uh, before. For the interview, I wasn't really all that like hyped about him. But after the interview, I thought he did a really good job. He made it out of there alive and didn't get killed. Well, so, I mean, is he back in America yet? Uh, as far as I know, no. He's so, so <laughs> not over yet. Hasn't True. made it out alive yet. But. Uh, but, but no, even being critical from both sides, uh, and I guarantee you if you're trying to figure out which side I'm on, you're wrong. So uh, there you go. Uh, um, yeah, but Tr- Trump 2024. I, um, but anyway... <laughs> Uh, if you can't, if you want, if you want to watch something and be able to try to figure out a person like that, it's, it's really important because especially with the translation, you have to trust the translator, which I've been told from people who speak Russian that there was actually mistranslations in certain things. They weren't a huge deal, but, <clears throat> but you even caught, like if you watch the interview, I've watched it three times because I'm trying to break it down. Um, he I mean, Putin is a, a very, I don't want to say cunning, but he's very misleading and he is also, um, I don't know. He's sly. He, he just, the way that he is. So he's a good leader is what you're saying. I'm definitely not saying that, but, um, he, whenever he's being interviewed, he definitely does some bait and switch stuff and he becomes hypocritical and you can notice it throughout the interview, but it was still kind of interesting to see him do it. And him know he's doing it to sidestep questions by giving you a 30 minute fucking history Mm -hmm. lesson, which the memes after that were fucking fabulous. (laughs) Um, But yeah, I encourage you, no matter what side you're on, go and watch it and just be be critical of it. And and, uh, if you know anything about that, dude, uh, yeah, it may be interesting for you as well. Do you want to hear my opinion? Uh, Sure. I don't care at this point. So hey, if we're going to talk politics, it's only Scotty. No, 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 I, I don't not. care. I, I, like this is not a, it shouldn't be a political thing. It's, it's not a political it, thing yeah. that I'm saying. It's my opinion of, of Putin is affected by the fact that the same people that told me that a, a cold was going to kill half of the country. And the same people that told me that Trump colluded with Russia and the same people that told me that, all of these things that are clearly propaganda bullshit, and then they're like, and Putin's evil, and Russia's evil. And I'm like, I've never seen proof of those things in my life. Mm. I've, well, like, what any, any uh, shitting on Putin that anybody has, the CIA has done equal to or worse things. So we can't really point at them at Russia and be like, they're evil, while we are like, have black sites all over the world where we put bags over people's heads and fucking yeah. torture them and shit. Like, I don't see how that makes them evil and us good. I I, I see what you're trying to say, uh, and I agree with a majority like, of he, it. But he jails his political <clears throat> opponents. And yeah, I'm like that's exactly what's going on in our country without, right now. Without, I don't want to get into politics. All I was trying to say was that if you get the opportunity to listen to it, no matter what side you're on, it's it's good to do, even if you just have to take it critically. Um, but yeah, uh, and I, I understand you're a huge Trump guy, and I get it. I wouldn't say I'm a huge Trump guy. I uh, was okay. A, I was a Democrat. Well, and I think years you, ago. What were you doing on January sixth? <laughs> <laughs> I was because well, uh, you kind of look like one of those guys. <laughs> I was exercising my First Amendment rights, is what I was doing. I, I, I think it's actually kind of cool because every single person that's on the show is different politically. Everybody is not the same. Uh, whenever we all, cause we all talk after the show and stuff like that. We go over this kind of shit, but, um, it's actually kind of cool because every single one, all seven of us are in some direction of, of the 
norm. And yeah, Is that I, a gay I, joke. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess. I like that. There you go. There you go. Uh, but moving on. So that was pretty much my week. Uh, I did want to uh, let everybody know. We talked about it last week that uh, we were talking about possibly not having a show on the 28th because I would be going out of town and yada, yada, yada. Turns out uh, we're going to have a show. Nice. Yeah, we're going to have a show. Uh, we, uh, Me and JP and a, a special guest. What are you doing? Oh, a very special guest. Yeah. I'm so excited. Uh, and so it's going to be a fun show. It's going to be a comedian that we never had on the show before. He is a local comedian here, and uh, I've uh, I've heard nothing but good things, and I'm excited to have him on. So we will have a show. It'll be uh, We'll record much earlier than normal, but at least you guys get a show, so be excited for that. Uh, that'll come out the 28th and nice. uh, all that good stuff. So there you go. There's for that. And I'll, I'll make you a list of bad things okay. about that person. Okay. Yeah, good <laughs> sounds, deal. sounds good. Good deal. Uh, but moving on, uh, I wanted to kick this off because I got a question that I don't think fit anywhere in, in any of our segments, but uh, Nathan Blackwell wanted to ask, especially for you guys being comedians, if you're a touring comedian, uh, where's your first stop and your last stop for you two? Uh, just in general, yeah. Right. Like if, you would, if you were to go on tour, you were going to start, where would you want to start and where would you want to end your tour? Oh, I mean, it, my ideal tour would be, I would go from, uh, from Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Tacoma. Uh, Is this a song? Philadelphia, <laughs> yeah, Atlanta, I, I thought I was like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a minute. Yeah, like, I, I saw a YouTube video where a guy like had his laser pointer and, and the map and was like, this is the worst plan <laughs> tour. <laughs> like you should go from uh, Atlanta to, uh, I don't know what he said, but anyway, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I always think of Mitch Hedberg whenever anybody asks me that, because one time he said, uh, somebody asked me like, where's my favorite place to perform? And I said, a big room with a bunch of people in it. Yeah. yeah. And that's how I feel. I'm like, once you get in, inside the club and everybody's seated and everything it's I, all the you, same yeah you don't think about what town you're there in you or whatever there you go so i don't really care plus i being a single guy i don't like to do touristy shit as much as i did when sure. i had a girlfriend yeah which I should get another one because doing doing touristy shit on the road is actually fun. Fucking you know? that girl last week was awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it I want to do it's, more of that. It's been a, a short while, but yeah. yeah. Uh, same thing for you, JP. Uh, alleged, I mean, essentially, I would say wherever I can make the most money. Okay. I yeah, mean, I any town so. that I think I could sell out, the biggest place that I think I could sell San out, San Francisco. Anywhere that I could, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I, wherever I can make the money. Yeah, and, for sure. You know, but I would love to do Amsterdam. Oh, that'd that be would, fucking fun. That's probably, the, that's probably the... I'd go. The goal. I'd go. That's probably the I'd goal. I'd go with you. Is, is Amsterdam. I've been asked to do shows in a few different countries in the last year or so, and... and I'm always like, yeah, I would do it if the money is yeah. right. Yeah, I had a chance to do a show in Austria once. Aus Australia or Austria? Austria. Oh, Austria. Without the L, okay. Yeah. And uh, they were like, now, if you can get there, and I'm like, never mind. Yeah, yeah so much for that. I'm like, even you know, go, I live in a room, right? <laughs> I got to go get a, a passport. Right. And even and that the, is, costs more yeah, than what so, you're offering to pay me. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. And I and it, with me, it's like, yeah, yeah, I would love to do that. Yeah, yeah. I'd go. I'd go to Amsterdam. Wait a minute. I mean, I would have to fly over the ocean. Fuck That's, that. Yeah. No, thank you. I'm not looking forward to that part of it. Yeah, but fuck by that. that time, I'll have my own private jet and all yeah, that good 100%, stuff. One hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but your private jet still, still has, has to fly. fly over yeah, the ocean. but but uh, at it least has a if, bedroom. At least and if I can you're on a plane bed. with a hundred other people, then you've got chances of other survivors when you hit. Mm. Yeah. As opposed to if you're if on your private the, plane. If that's the plan, is for me to go down in my private jet. Have, haven't you ever seen things worked out all right haven't you ever seen hatchet yeah. don't you know what happens when you <laughs> take a private flight somewhere yeah, that's yeah. true you crash in the woods yeah anyways moving rest on rest in peace kobe yeah <laughs> fuck moving on to the headlines for this week uh yeah we'll get to the you know the super bowl here in a little bit um 
But uh, I saw this. I thought this was kind of funny. A Swedish amusement water park was engulfed in uh, in flames uh, after <laughs> a, a, new ex, a new attraction exploded today in, <laughs> at the Oceana of Gothenburg, I think is how Gothenburg. it's Gothenburg. Okay, thanks. Um, how does a fucking water park explode? Gothenburg's feeding. <laughs> okay. How does, uh, how does that happen? Anybody know? The feeds don't build the rides very uh, well. I guess not. It went kaboom. Like, yeah, I, there's video not, evidence of it. It's, nice. It's not a small you, pop. It's got to be a big explosion to be on fire at the water, water park. park exactly. like, I mean, if you were going to have some explode and catch a flame, I guess that's a good place. Yeah, it's got to I mean, be. Yeah. You, you're going to be able to put it out pretty quick, I would think. Water slides with pyrotechnics. That's yeah, pretty that's, solid. Yeah, that's solid. Good shit. I mean, those Swedes, they, they, they make some cool they shit. They party, dude. Right. They fucking go all out. They get, They are a very big exporter and importer of cocaine. Yeah. Is no, that true? Know. Yes. They export cocaine? Yeah, oh, yeah. Which means they grow cocaine in Sweden? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. The Swedes are major cokeheads, man. That, well, okay. I, just because they do it, I don't think no, that no, means they, they grow They're growing it. it. They're don't Sven. you need like a tropical climate? I know a guy named Sven. Well, and, he's uh, growing it in his closet or something. Yeah. Well, that, that's I don't where even know if you can do that. That's where ice. That's like ice coke. That's yeah, that's man. coke and ice, man. That's a different kind of cocaine. All right, uh-huh. Swedish cocaine. Swedish man. cocaine. But I, hey, I man, you I, don't got to be fucking literal about everything. I started a fire in my uh, kitchen sink once. <laughs> <laughs> once. So I'm just saying well, that's like, good. That only once. It's like the place where the most water is, and that's where the fire yeah. started. So Smart. I'm not. I'm not con- uh, like. Surprised that something at a water park could catch on fire. Baldwin started the fire. <laughs> Sorry. It's always fire. Dude, that just reminded me. Have you watched uh have you watched the Netflix thing about the making of We Are the World? No. Do you know what I'm talking about though? No. It was it was good. It's like an hour and a half, and when they did Michael Jackson, uh Stevie Wonder, Lionel Richie, all the other forty people all had to get together on the same day. To record we are the world and it mm. was it, they just went through the details of it it was pretty fucking interesting sounds like it anyway I, and <laughs> billy joel was there which oh, is what oh. made me think of that okay he got a little solo sure did. there were several people there that just had to sing in the chorus that were like famous artists that were like wait i don't get a solo and they're like no nah, man you're just here i'm out fucking- of here yeah, well, Waylon Bono. Jennings left in the middle of it yeah. because like, at one point, you. at one point, Stevie Wonder was like, "We need to throw in some Swahili in there or whatever," and Waylon Jennings is like, "Nope, I'm out." <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anyway, it was good. But yes, I had ki- fire in my kitchen sink and at a water park. There you go. And on to the next story. On to the next one. Soccer player dead after being struck by lightning during a match in Indonesia. Fucking vaccines, man. <laughs> Now they're attracting lightning. <laughs> they're attracting lightning. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, that's if you've gotta, had the vaccine, do not go outside if there's a thunderstorm. <laughs> it Ever. attracts lightning bolts. Mm-hmm. Well, that's whoever was in charge of that game, it's their fault because that was one of the first things we learned in football is that if, if you start seeing lightning or hearing thunder, then practice is over or the game's over or we're going inside. I think it was a sneak attack by God just saying, fuck you and your soccer. That's it. Yeah. Get, yeah, it get off. This is ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, sad, sad. To, uh, sorry about that. Guy. Yeah, yeah. I, may he rest in peace. May he rest I hope in he peace. wasn't good. I uh, hope it yeah, wasn't hope like he, one of their good players. I hope he sucked at yeah. soccer. <laughs> They're like, ah, we can replace him. Yeah, probably. Uh, I mean, Indonesia. Fuck. What do you do? Um, moving on. Uh, probably my favorite news story of the entire weekend. Uh, there was a big golf tournament in uh, Arizona over uh, the last weekend. And um, a lot of shit happened that uh, just makes me just really happy to be a golf fan. Yeah. Um, They had the Waste Management Open uh, in, uh, I believe it's in Phoenix. Anyway, long story short, uh, everybody there um, got really fucking drunk. Every single person, they actually set a, a record uh, for selling the most alcoholic beverages at a at an event, which was four million two hundred nine thousand three hundred and twenty eight alcoholic beverages. The crazy wow. part is there was only thirty eight people there. <laughs> 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 Fucking Phoenix, dude. So so this tournament has now or has had the reputation of kind of being like a, a really loose kind of party, uh, kind of golf tournament, right? Yeah. Uh, well, they. Uh, I guess on accident or how whoever decided to not do their job, uh, we're allowing p- 
people in for free without any tickets. They also then stopped checking for VIP passes, which means regular people got into the VIP rooms where there was free alcohol. Fantastic. Uh, 12 streakers later in this nice. goddamn tournament. Oh, God. The video evidence of this shit is absolutely hysterical. There are grown adults who look like like response golf fans, golf fans. Yeah. <laughs> and these people they still have their little hats oh, on yeah. and their they're, their they're socks middle-aged middle-aged men like in khakis just going face planning into a sand uh, into a, like a sand trap and you're just like holy shit it's this like, like happy a gilmore 100 awesome. even the golfers even pulled like a, a shooter mcgavin moment yeah. like they were being loud and like yeah. turned around and yell at him i'm just like Oh, this is great. That's I would awesome. love to be at that. Yeah, but they uh, apparently are going to have to change security because a lot of people were really pissed about it. What, um, I, but yeah. You know what bothers me when I see them like violently tackle the streakers at, at sporting events? When you know you could just be like, all right, come on. That's enough. <laughs> You give your little bow. Let's get out of here. But instead, they're like, "Get the fuck down!" and like beat the shit out of the yeah, guy. Yeah, because they're like, trying to keep other people from doing it. That's why they don't even show it on TV. Yeah, anymore. they won't. Yeah, they won't show it. They won't show it. And they're uh, not even supposed to talk about it. They really aren't. Uh, but the best part is, is whenever you're at one of these events, is that people get out their phones because they know it's going to get oh, clicks yeah. and yeah. a whole bunch of views. Fuck yeah! And so yeah, the 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 there video the video footage yeah. of these people was. Oh, it was so amazing. And so I, uh, and the other thing is, is I really enjoy it when the players get involved with actually going after the streakers, especially football players. You got a guy half naked running around and you got some dude in pads just well, lay the oh, guy out. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, see, I don't like no, that. I like that. The guy <laughs> that that sounds good. <laughs> I may be a golf fan. Yeah, well, all right. Uh, but, right. but anyways, that's the Waste Management Open. Uh, yeah, check out the video on that. It's fucking hilarious. Why does everything have to be a, another company? The Waste, you can't just call it like oh. the Phoenix Golf Adver Tournament or Ad whatever. Advertisement, man. The, but that pisses Sponsor me off, you money. know. Money, like money. Arrowhead Stadium has been Arrowhead Stadium for, uh, for the last 50, 60 years. Not and anymore. Now, now what's it called? Arrowhead at Geek. Gia or G E H A See, field like that just pisses yeah. me off. It's Some, because of the money, bro. I know it is, but it's like it's greed. It's corporations. It's fucking America. Eventually, <laughs> you're a Trump guy. Everything's going to be owned by one company. Dude. That's not. Yeah, it is, man. Just saying, no, it no, is. No. It is the new America. Well, I don't know it. Anyways, it now we get to move on to uh, Mike's favorite. It's not my favorite. Yeah. I just am a fan because I live here. I know. I live in the area. My, I I posted on Twitter and uh, Facebook and stuff, and I said, "Yay! The group of athletes who are paid to represent the city that is right next to the city that I happen to be born in won the Super Bowl." So it's like, yeah, I don't, I'm not, I don't follow these guys because I care about their lives or like I, yeah, it's just the team that's closest to me. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't take any of it personally or anything. I'm just like, fuck yeah, the team close to me won. Yeah, I know. I know. And the team that's closest to me uh, annoys the absolute shit out of me. At least their fans do for the most part. And like I said, if you've been a fan for a real long time, chances are you're probably not going to really get under my skin. It's the ones that have just recently got there like five years ago and are they're just rubbing it in. Just rubbing it in. I think I'm a fan now. Are you? No. Okay. That's what I thought. You're a Broncos <laughs> fan. I'm a Broncos fan. You can't get away from that. No. No. But no, especially being in the Kansas area, and and you know it's gonna happen, especially if you're if you're like it's the KU Jayhawks for me as well. I, I that it's the same damn thing. It's just that there's a lot more Kansas City fans and Jayhawks fans, I think, and they are That's disappointing. Ridiculous, <laughs> man. And it's the fact it's like, okay, well, how, I mean, well, I guess that's a question later in the show, but um, I saw Travis Kelsey lose his shit on Andy Reid in the okay, first half. Okay, man, look, <laughs> here's the thing. Defend him. I'm going to. I will, I'll defend I'm him, I'm going too. to because he didn't lose his shit on Andy Reid. He bumped him. He didn't. He he was very fucking emotional, and he ran toward him. And yes, he bumped into him, but he didn't like fucking raw you motherfucker. And he just basically told him, "Put me in the game, man. I'll score. Put me in the game. Why do you have me out of the game? I want to be in this game right now." Yeah, no. And I get it. if you've never played sports or been, I mean, 
passionate about a sport. You played sports? Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Even gay people can play sports, Scotty. I know. I know. They're, water sports, but, yeah. they're water sports. He knows. They're water sports, but it's still. I'm very passionate. I can see that. So I'd like to see when JP doing the same thing that Kelsey yeah, did to dude. somebody else. Get the fucking spare. Yeah, dude. I've seen him upset so, before. It's kind of scary. Like, here's the thing, man. If you've never been passionate about a sport, and I've been passionate about sports, and I've only played sports in high school, and I bowl, if you want to call that a sport. <laughs> I don't. But I look, do. man, I'm passionate about it. <laughs> so I could only imagine on that level, in that moment, with that situation going on, it happened. I agree. Nobody's. I, I, they're not upset about it. No, and I Andy think Andy Reid's not fucking upset about it. Yeah. So back the fuck up off of them. Yeah. And go fuck yourselves. I think it's. I think he's. Here's the. Here's the. I other had a thing. friend that posted a bunch of shit on Facebook. I, well, they, they should fire him. He should be off the team. Go fuck yourself, man. They, this is this is the thing that I don't fall in the trap of, which is when you dislike a team because of his relationship with Taylor Swift and it's being blown up and everybody's sick and tired of seeing her being blown up. Let, well, no, 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 that yeah. is, that is being yeah. blown up. And so I think that naturally people who don't like Taylor Swift and who don't like the chiefs are going to give Travis Kelsey shit for doing that. And I'm the guy who dislikes Taylor Swift and the chiefs. And I'm saying what he did was just trying to win a fucking yeah, football game. Man. And that is what you're supposed to do as a fucking football football player I mean, for that fuck team. yourself on the Taylor he's Swift pa- stuff though. he's passionate he's emotional he just yeah. he was just doing what he thought was to get the point across of put me in the goddamn game that's why we need or this is how we're gonna win yeah. so I, I don't even give him a lot of flack for that um i i did have i don't really know how i feel about this yet but tyler plackey uh actually uh asked this question related to this uh because um, Brittany Mahomes did not allow her little brother or, or Patrick's little brother Jackson into the VIP suite. Well, because he's a raper. Probably has something and to do with it. He, he? She doesn't want to be seen with the raper. Yeah, he's, I didn't know that. Oh, so. yeah. He's pretty rapey. He's, oh, sex, he's, he's kind of sexually assaulty. Yeah. He well, can, that those are two different things. Well, but. Uh, no, it's... I, I think it, yeah, he's probably the he's first one. Uh, but uh, that's but yeah. okay. You know, he could rape he me. He wanted to know if that... If that changes my opinion about Brittany. No, she's for, still a piece of shit. Yep. 100%. Why, why are, are the girlfriends of football players pieces of shit exactly? Not all of them. Just, I think Taylor Swift is amazing. I will, I will like, come out and I will say that Ky, that Kylie Kelsey is probably one of my yeah, like favorite people too. on the fucking face of the is earth. Is that his mom? No, no. Ky, no Kylie is Jason's, Jason's wife. Ah. wife. And she, you know what? When Jason goes absolutely ballistic, takes off his shirt in Buffalo and acts like a drunk hooligan, she's just back there like my wife would if I was doing the same shit. Oh, just smiling, Jason. going, oh no, he's yeah. gone a little bit overboard. And that's, that's an awesome woman. So yeah, no, not every single one of them. It's just this one in particular, Brittany Mahomes, is kind of cunty. It's yeah. just, and, and you know what? There was like, uh, there was photo shoots of her like taking pictures in bikinis and shit like that. And a Kansas City fan like showed me a picture. And I will say, Brittany Mahomes would be a very attractive woman if she didn't talk. But when she talks, she makes an annoying noise out of her fucking face uh-huh. that Get drives me nuts. Get back in there and nuts. do the dishes, bitch. No. <laughs> it's so, no, it's just, she makes, her voice is just screechy, just nails on chalkboards. And she's shrill. kind of a cunt. Are you, are you thinking kind of, of the word shrill? Shrill. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, but yeah, it's just very annoying. And so she cannot be attractive to me no matter what. So that's just me. Oh, man, I can I could definitely find attractiveness in an annoying ass bitch for sure. Sure. Oh yeah, they, he, did they, it, he did it in Rochester. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's it's that level. It's like you got to find the the happy medium of the two. But it, normally, if she's like super hot with a lot of makeup and shit, oh yeah, she's cunty. That's the way it works. But yeah, well, uh, I think she's fantastic. Okay, well, great. I don't know her enough about her though because I don't. Apparently, follow, obviously, I don't follow the bullshit yeah. side drama of football. I'm just like, who won? Oh, that's fine. Uh, but, but you're like, did you see what his fiance said? And I'm like, why wife. does that matter? You she's, know, like she's the mother of his children. That's like you going to work and somebody being like, did you hear what Scotty's wife did the other day? I want them to talk about that. That's how she's still sticking around that's what it is 
Uh, but no, and then uh, last thing I wanted to ask you guys, what did you guys think of the halftime show? Dog shit. Really? Oh, yeah. I thought it was pretty great, The man. sound was off. Like, you could tell yeah. that they, they were That's having Yeah, true. something was weird. Plus, he they you could tell that the track was playing over the loudspeaker, and then Usher, they were just like, just sing whenever you feel like it. And he stopped, like, halfway through every line so that I could tell he was out of breath and shit, you know? And yeah. I mean, he did take his shirt off, so I was cool with the whole thing. Dude, he was mm. fucking sweating like a fucking fiend, yeah, man. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was... Yeah. sweaty i mean it was fine but i it wasn't like oh. it wasn't epic no I, t- I i texted my best friend and i was just like dude this 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 halftime show would be fire but it just looks like it's on a budget you know that's what it felt and then when luda comes out at the very end who i absolutely love Ludacris, he's yeah. one of my favorites but then they had him dressed up in like the <laughs> outfits from dodgeball yeah. they look like right. lobo jim cobras is what they look like i and saw I was those like, memes yeah this is fucking stupid and i and they did. Uh, I mean, it was not my fave. No, no. And, and we've had we've had like. Oh, we'll get to that. I guess we have a we have we have a yeah, draft coming up. Oh, okay, my bad. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, but no. Uh, congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs. I'll go ahead and say it. Good yeah, I got my Chiefs shirt on. Good for it, you. It's actually a high boy shirt. No. Well, did I tell you the high good. boy story? Yeah, you did last couple of weeks ago, didn't you? I don't know what high boy story did I tell you. Uh. I remember it specifically, but it had to do with something in Kansas City about that. Well, they their onion ring p- people quit making onion rings. Oh, no, you didn't tell me that. So, hi, boy, there's three locations in Independence, Missouri. That's the only three in America, and they're fucking awesome, and they make great, like, thin burgers, sort of like Freddy's or... or uh, oh, yeah. Uh, whatever else um Spangles. steak steak and shake was what Spangles. i was thinking of but anyway so their onion rings are like their most popular product they've been selling them for 30 years and in the last year or so the company that makes their onion rings got bought out by some other company yeah and they were like don't worry every nothing's gonna change and then over the course of the next few months then customers started being like what the fuck's up with these onion rings they don't taste like nor like normal high boy onion rings and so then eventually high boy put out a thing and they were like all right fuck it we're not doing onion rings anymore because oh. this company won't make them the way that we said we want them to be made hmm. and they're trying to freeze them and shit and and ours are never frozen they're always fresh and this kind of stuff and so they were going through that's a, your story well they the the story was from my shirt because then i posted a thing because i worked at high boy for about oh. a year after high school and i was like this that's place is this place is family owned it's fucking awesome like they're working hard you should go there and support them and and then my friend casey who was the daughter of the owner of the three places jesus christ messaged me and was like we want to send you some stuff thanks for saying nice things and so she sent me this high boy t-shirt and another one that said how about them nuggies uh, you done? <laughs> I don't know why. How you're fucking <laughs> me and JP were on the same level. What's wrong with my story? Nothing. I don't know. Yeah, just, you can you just... have fucking mice in your house and <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's fine. But no, you did not tell us that story. And and rest in peace. It is a hell of a story. By the rings. Way. If you live in the Kansas City area, yeah, though, well, yeah, go right. to High Boy. Yeah, right now. <laughs> right. No, absolutely. One hundred percent. Don't pause the show. Just let it play. <laughs> <laughs> Trust yeah. me. You can listen while you drive. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, congratulations to the Chiefs. Uh, thank you. I get a, I get a whole year. I get a whole fucking year of, uh, of this after already having one already of uh, Kansas City Chiefs fans being douchebags. Well, next year's yeah. three in a row, baby. Come on, Lions. Dynasty. Fuck no, please don't. Uh, now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. We get to move on to Never Have I Ever. Guys, thank you so much for participating in Monday Fun Day. That happens every Monday. I send out a post where you guys can make comments on uh, what your suggestions would be for these uh, segments on the show. Uh, Newsflash, I'm giving you two weeks ahead of schedule. There will be not. There will not be a Monday Fun Day for uh, the 28th episode. It will be on a Friday, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, now we get to move on to Never Have I Ever. The first one comes in from Ben Martinez. He wants to know, Never Have I Ever Gone Streaking <laughs> in Public. Maybe I have. I 
I, this question was being read, and he's already laughing, and I already knew the answer to the to the fucking question with you. It definitely you have one time <laughs> when you're not scared of how the size of your equipment is. You're probably more prone to going and running naked. I've only done it twice. Uh, Once was in high school, like my junior year, we all got drunk and I blew up a rubber glove and put it on my head and ran around the neighborhood naked <laughs> yelling, I'm a squid, I'm a squid. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first right, time. That's, I'll allow that. <laughs> that's the first time. Okay. And we won't talk about the second time. All right. Ah, but. Sounds good. Yeah, I've never... I've My dick's not... Yeah, I my I it's a it's not a show dick. It's a <laughs> it's, not. it's strictly a work dick. Yeah, <laughs> it's main. It's functional. Oh, uh, it works. It works. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I'd have to ask Anne to make sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So no, I have not. Uh, but we all knew JP has. Uh, next one. This one comes in from Andrew Souter. He wants to know, never have I ever felt obligated to get someone I wasn't in a relationship with a Valentine's Day gift. Never. Never. Fuck yeah, boys. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, I, barely, I barely want to get someone I am in a relationship with a <laughs> gift. Like, if we're not in a relationship, you could definitely go fuck off. So naturally chit-chatting with my wife before the episode, and uh, she reads some of the questions sometimes, and she saw this question. She's like, you definitely have done this before. And I said, what do you mean? She goes, well, we weren't even dating yet, and uh, you got me a Valentine's Day present. I was like, no, I didn't. What did I get you? And she goes, a fucking gift card to Victoria's Secret. And I was like, no, that's that a was gift for me, for me. honey. <laughs> right. that, that wasn't for that's you. That for was you. for me. That's for me. That's equal to like, hey, baby, I got you Nintendo games. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, happy right. Valentine's Day. Right. Have, have fun at work. I'll test out these <laughs> Nintendo games. Right. <laughs> so anyways, all right. Uh, next one comes in from Brandon Strong. He wants to know, never have I ever bought someone a Valentine's Day uh, or sorry, bought somebody a Valentine and got rejected. No, that seems like a follow up to the previous yeah. question because I would have to right. if I'm in a relationship with the girl, yeah. she's not going to reject right. me. I like after yeah. a gift, you know. I've never done that. Okay, well here's uh, here's the only thing where I think this could possibly make sense that maybe some of us has, it's happened to. But whenever we were like in elementary school, our parents oh, would cool, buy us yeah. like those stupid, uh, yeah. you know, themed Valentine's Day right. things that had candy and you taped them to it and With gave the it to Simpsons everybody. Simpsons on it or whatever. Yeah, so it was like have a good Valentine's Day. Yeah. Don't have a cow. Exactly. Yeah, those. And uh, I uh, I've never got rejected, but I definitely had somebody who I didn't like give me one and I gave it back. So I mean, yeah. that's, you gave it back yeah i was, oh, a, yeah. Kid. I I was a kid who got only like two valentines in his box oh. and everybody else was like oh here you go yeah, i'm like sitting over in the corner like Ugh. i feel it's like because i'm gay isn't it yeah i fuckers. feel like i was pretty lucky i guess in elementary school because we had a very like eh, what's the word i'm thinking of like everybody in the class had one for everybody everybody else. yeah so it, there it was very rare and i because i remember it happening a couple times where you know there's 30 kids in our class and one kid's like oh i only got 29 like, <laughs> what who right? was it they're looking through them like, who was it like tearing off pieces of paper to make them handmade sorry clayton i forgot you <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the kid's name that's was. my brother so oh he wouldn't care uh, next one uh, comes in from Wesley Rackley. He wants to know, never have I ever been harassed during stand-up to the point you walked off stage? Never. Once. Really? I wouldn't say I was harassed. I was, uh, f first of all, there were like seven people at the show. Um, rule number one of comedy, if you're going to have a comedy show, seat the room. When people walk into the room, you say, here, follow me. These are your seats right here. Don't just let people sit wherever they want because then they'll spread out. Anyway, so there's like five people sitting along the farthest back row, and then there's one couple in front, and they're just wasted. And in my defense, I had been, I had just watched Louis C.K.'s newest special, and I listened to a lot of his comedy at the time, so I had the word cunt in my head already. <laughs> so this show's going on. I'm supposed to do like 30 minutes. I'm like six minutes in, zero laughs. And this girl, drunk girl in the front row is like, he sucks to her boyfriend, but like loud enough that right. the whole room can hear all seven of them. And eventually <laughs> this happens for a few minutes and I try like some, you know, Hey, I don't go to your job and like that kind of, none of nothing's Slap the working burgers out of your mouth. 
So I was just like, God, why are you being such a cunt? <laughs> and all seven people go, <gasps> And then the moment I said that, then like there's a flashlight shining at me from the back of the room. And I was like, oh, so there is an employee here paying attention because I had already (laughs) been like, can somebody do something about this person? And looking back now, like they're not going to kick out one of seven people. (laughs) Right. So two if they kick her boyfriend out with her. It was my own fault. But uh, yeah, I was just like, all right, I'm finished. And I just walked off stage. And then the girl's boyfriend like got in my face and shit and tried to make me apologize to her. And I was just like, no. (laughs) but that was the end so yes i have but uh no i never have and i never will because if i do comedy i'm with you guys (laughs) and we're yeah that's the way it is uh next one comes in from kurt jr he wants to know never have i ever called my wife girlfriend or spouse someone else's name oh yeah i have I had a a terrible ex that I always used to fight with named Katie, and then I started dating Stephanie a year or so later, and like three different times where we would get into like a shouting match. I I called her Katie, and she was just like, fuck you! And I'm like, I'm sorry, like we don't fight. Katie and I fought, so that's what (laughs) clicks in my brain when I'm fighting with a girl, you know? It's like, you normally don't do this, but that old bitch did, and that's what it's reminding me of. But no, I've never, like, during sex or whatever, said the wrong name or anything. I don't think it said anything about that. (laughs) Well, I mean... Thank God, because that wasn't the question. I don't have to answer. Oh. But no, I have never done that. Okay. (laughs) Now, I've not learned their name. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. But that's... Yeah, and, and again, by the way, uh, hats off to Mike for remembering names. That's why I just call them all sport. <laughs> sport. Oh, hey there, sport. God. Come on in. <laughs> yeah, girls don't dig that no. nickname. Probably not. They like uh, uh, princess dessert-based names. <laughs> Muffin, cookie, biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> you can call them anything like that. <laughs> Broad. Uh, Pineapple upside down cake. (laughs) See, that that sounds extra cute because they're like, did you make that up for me? Pretzel. Uh, (laughs) I I hate to say this, but yes, I have done that to my wife. We first started dating and we were on a fishing trip. And uh, it was with my wife and her best friend who was also my best friend. And her name was Alyssa. My wife's name is Elena. They're very close. And I accidentally... (laughs) <laughs> called her Alyssa and she has uh, still not ever let me uh, live that down. Nice. But so. the three of you were together? Yeah. yeah. See, I think that's different. But it was, it's just like she I'm, wasn't there at the moment. How uh, together like she was were you? Out of the room. Yeah. I'm pretty together if you know what I'm saying. Pretty oh, together. Not a baby. Just kidding. <laughs> uh anyways, uh so yes, I have and uh Ooh, I'm right still on. being punished for it. Uh last one uh comes in from Jeff Friedman. He wants to know, never have I ever broken a TV because of a sports game. No, I have not, but thank you for those of you who are out there doing that. (laughs) (sighs) No, I haven't either. I've almost, uh, I've thrown my Nintendo controller at a TV. I was going to say, I have broken a TV because of a video sports game. Hey, that's fine. I didn't break anything. I just. Then I did. I I, have. I, I have never broken the TV. Remote control, controller, something like that. Sure. That's fine. TV? No. No. But I love it to see. I love watching you guys do it. it oh, I went. Oh, oh, it's it was, great. It was a bad news bear situation. I even watched the, the San Francisco 49er get fucking pissed off and break his TV. Yeah. It still brings me joy. I was rooting for you the whole time. I just really enjoy it when you cost yourself, you know, a lot of money. Well, and a lot of those videos that you see, the dude's not even at his own house. No, he's at a party. He's at some other person's house. Yeah. And it's like, you. why'd you fucking bring this guy? And yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. To destroy your TV. <laughs> yeah, that's no, right. I, I, I hate, knew he'd freak out. <laughs> videos like that make me cringe, dude. Right. When people do uh, inappropriate shit in front of other, other people, people who yeah. like aren't involved at all, uh, it bothers me. Yeah. Uh, but that is never have I ever. Now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. Uh, first one comes. Oh, I'm sorry. This is JP's favorite uh, segment. Okay. My bad. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. Uh, I first, like to hear my noise. I know. Uh, first one comes in from Andy Ames. He wants to know where do you draw the line? How long do your balls have How to hang? Low, not long. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Do your balls hang long? <laughs> yeah, do yeah. they wobble to and from? I can throw no, them over my work. shoulder. Uh, no, he wants to know how low do your balls have to hang before it becomes a problem? I guess when you start stepping on them, <laughs> that can't be good. No. Or sitting on them. 
Yeah. All the time. That hurts. Like I had an ex with just fucking <laughs> beanbag balls. And I couldn't imagine how uncomfortable he must have been all the time. I feel like everybody, people aren't, you're not growing these balls overnight. <laughs> no. Like you, it's, no, this is a process. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so you learn as you're growing up, like how to uh, adjust things yeah. and put things in the best spot for. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't. Like, what am I going to do? Go get a ball tucking or something? Yeah. Like, I don't Cinch think I would ever be at the age where I'm like, this is a problem. <laughs> no, balls just hang, and that's what that's they do. That's what you think, so, but you sit on them motherfuckers a couple times or step on them. You're going to think. It, it's, it's, not, it's not good. Uh, mm. but, but no, I, I, uh, I think there, there's a sign. I think there has to be a sign yeah. where you're like, Shit, I wonder if there's something I could do about this. And uh and Get yes, Botox sit, on your nutsack. Something. Tight, yeah, scrotox. Tighten that thing that's, up. Scrotox. That's, scrotox. that's a callback. That's right actually there. Oh, yeah, that's already been a joke. That's a joke. I was like, yeah. that's witty and original. That's, Good joke. That's one of my fa- yeah, no. No, that was Jeremy's. That was yeah. one of my favorite jokes uh, as well. But um but no, I think I think when you're sitting on the toilet taking a shit and your balls touch the water, oh, I, I well, think that's that's, that, yeah. well, that's that's the toilet's fault. <laughs> right. What you the hell's up with it? You need some low flow shit. Yeah. What's going on with toilets? Yeah, no, I think that's a, a telltale sign. And if you if you if you don't understand if this, and I know girls listen to the show, but it it is it is a fucking problem. It's I bet there's at least problem. one girl out there whose lips hang in. To the water. Oh no! <laughs> don't, oh, she's nice. She, uh, she's from Rochester. She's Her probably really Anne. nice. <laughs> Wrap them around me like a blanket. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's fucking Brittany Mahomes, mm. probably. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's where I draw the line. Did you guys already answer? Okay, yes, good, we did. good enough. Uh, next one comes in from Tyler Plackey. He wants to know how many rings will it take until we start saying Mahomes is the goat? Uh, let's see. That's easy. Three more. Eight. Yeah, three or four more. He has to have eight. He has to. Be- Why is that? How many Tom Brady has? Yeah. 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 He has eight Super Bowl victories. Yeah, yeah. He well, he has seven. Okay, right. And so why'd you say eight? Because he needs to beat Tom Brady. Ah, he's already beating him. As far as time frame goes, yes. Yeah. So if he ties him now, please, he's the goat. Please don't. It's true. Please, I know, but don't. Sorry, but how bro. many does Mahomes have? Three. Three, Three? Mm-hmm. in five years. In five years. Yeah. It's fucking impressive, man. Yeah, but the time doesn't mean anything if oh, he breaks his leg next season. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah, I mean, but I won't consider him the goat until he beats Tom Brady. I, I still, okay. I, I mean, I have my respect to Tom Brady. He, he, his numbers are still staggering. And granted, if if Mahomes continues to do this shit, then yeah, he, he's the goat. Uh, but until that point, that's where I draw the line. Okay. All right. Uh, next one. It should be oh. the goth, like because I don't know if he's the greatest of all time, but he is the greatest of this time. Okay, that's fair. But that's, Tom Brady is the, or the goth. goth. Mahomes is the goth. The, the goth. goat. Oh yeah, the, <laughs> the goat. The goat. The, the goat. Okay. The goat. I don't know why I put an H in there. No idea. Goat. I want to though. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then you can. That's the beautiful <laughs> thing <laughs> about yeah. made up shit. That's right. You can do whatever you want. That's right. Uh, <laughs> next one. H is silent. Yeah. It, is. <laughs> I mean, just silent. it often yeah. is. Yeah. Uh that's that's how uh it's like Swede, the K and knife. No, that's how the Swedes pronounce it. It's G O T T. It's yeah. yeah, it's the goth. That's goth. Right. Goth. Yeah, see. Uh next one comes in from Christian George. He wants to know how many times will Oh, sorry. How oh, many this times? guy's got two first names. We uh, need to skip this. Christian George. <laughs> he wants to know how many times will you repeat yourself to someone before you give up? So I've no I do this. Uh if I like say a joke or something and I don't get the reaction that I think I deserved, oh, yeah. I just assume people didn't hear me. <laughs> so I say it again and I've done it up to like three or four times really? before I'm like, Oh man, they really just don't think that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> people are like, No, we heard you dude. Yeah, right. So I do that. We like, got it. Do, Volume is not the issue here. Yeah, yeah I yeah. do that sometimes. Uh, no, I, I learned at a very young age that I could say dad about 
about three times before <laughs> not violence no. but just fear of violence would <laughs> just so the, i would i'd be like dad and he he wouldn't be like hang on a second or anything he would just 100 percent ignore me and keep doing what he was doing and then i'd be like hopping up and down and i'd go dad and then nothing again and then i would go dad and then he would go what <laughs> and just that response would make me like freeze nothing. and oh, run yeah. away or whatever yeah, so so yeah, I it, it, that Family Guy where Stewie's like, "Mom, mommy, mama, mama," yeah, yeah, yeah. like that made me laugh. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I was just waiting for her to do what my dad did, which is like, "What?" Oh yeah, uh, I I will say it once, and then if you didn't hear me, I'll say it again. If you still didn't, I give up. That's it. Okay. I do not like repeating myself. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine. So yep, that's that. I think I'm kind of on the other end of that too because I often have a hard time hearing people in certain situations yeah so like somebody will say something and i'll be like huh oh. wait what <laughs> yeah, what did you just say? and then they'll say it again and then i'm like if i really want to hear it the third time i'll be like dude i'm really sorry but i just can't fucking hear what you're saying that makes sense that's fine i get that uh next one comes in man he's been on the show like four three four episodes in a row matt shartner uh, he wants to know how long will you let someone you think is hideous flirt with you, Mike? Well, uh, how long have I known you, JP? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I let you do it, and yeah, I think so you're couple, terrible. Couple years at least. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm kidding. It's going on eight years now, and uh, yeah, so that's that's how long I've known JP. Um, I mean, it guys are cool, man. You guys really know how to make a guy feel good. We just don't like dudes. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. yeah. I don't like wieners and butts. But that doesn't mean I'm hideous for fuck's sake. No, I mean, it doesn't. No. Obviously, I am. I haven't fucked anybody in three years. Well, but. well, you're not hideous. You're just not a chick. Hmm. Yeah. So if you were, if I had, if you had chick parts, if I'd I be like, had that JP is. If I tuck it between my legs <laughs> just right. <laughs> No, because uh, yeah, and I, I haven't shaved in a while. No, right. you'd never know the difference. I think I would. I think I would too. I, I mean, sure I, I think I'd like to think. I that would I like would. to think yeah. that I'd be like, no, nah, this feels like a dick. Wait backwards. a minute. If I had, if I had the choice, if I had the choice of JP, is that you? <laughs> if I had the choice between JP. Or Lizzo, I'm going Lizzo all day oh, long. Oh, man, you're going to regret that. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're yeah, gonna, she'll, pro, you're probably going to choke to death. Either that yeah, because hers uh, is just tucked back also. Yeah, <laughs> right. And it's way bigger than mine. She'll be like, you should have gone for JP. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. But, uh, yeah, you're going to regret that. All no, right. It, it happens after comedy shows sometimes, though. I'll have, like, somebody gross. It's, oh, yeah. It, it, more often than not, though, it's not even a, a gross girl. It's a dude trying to be funny or to just like tell me stories or whatever. And I was listening to somebody talk about uh, like who was the rudest celebrity to them. And they were like, Oh, you know, so-and-so I met Mike Berbiglia or fucking whoever. And they were just so rude to me. And somebody else is like, yeah, but when you're famous, dude, you have people every 10 minutes that are like, Hey man, what's up? Like, can I tell you a story and you want to get a picture and shit like that? Like inevitably you're going to be like, dude, I don't fucking have time right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. You're but not. I, it's, it's actually just really funny. Uh, your stories are long, man. <laughs> That's why I was laughing. I like to be. <laughs> They're it's very a, thorough. It's very detailed and thorough. I, I like want it. people it's to know the whole story. <laughs> yeah, man. I know. You're like that's the, that's you're like my, the Paul Harvey of our show. <laughs> one of my least favorite things. And now you know things. the rest of the story. One of my least favorite things are when people tell me half of a story <laughs> and then make me ask questions and shit in the middle of it. I don't want that. If you have a I story. Don't want that. I don't want that. If you have a story, fucking tell me the whole thing. <laughs> you want that detail? Huh. Guess. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, okay, last question. Where do you draw the line? How long does it take for you to emotionally recover when your team or when the team you hate wins the Super Bowl? No, no time at all. I'm already, I, dude, they played a fucking hell of a game. They deserve to win. This is going to take me at least six months. I don't get that. It'll take yeah, six me months. neither. That's not like, all. how can you be mad at a TV show? What? 
How can you be mad at a TV show? Yeah. They ruined Game of Thrones, you motherfucker. Yeah, when they, they made they it. They killed the wrong person. They made the guy at the end the king when he shouldn't have I've been. I've never seen They it. ruined Game of Thrones. I've never, se- I've never seen even 30 Absolutely. seconds of that show. Haven't you, haven't you fallen, fallen in love with a show that you had a favorite character? <gasps> Suits, dude. Yeah. You watched Suits. I finished I, Suits, though. I didn't Yes. I didn't abandon it out of anger. I did, because I'm See? sorry. <laughs> Meghan Markle's character in Suits was extremely fucking hot. And because she went and got married to some prince, they took her out of the show. So I said, fuck it. But yes, that pisses me off. And it's not even the show writer's fault. It was just her. Mm. So, But yes, I've been mad at a fucking show. Okay. And whenever my team... That uh, that oh, whenever the team that I dislike very very much, um, whenever their fans surround me and are annoying as fuck, it takes me six months to get over it, and it'll be wow. it'll be the beginning of the season next year. So you're a real shitty person. That's the way I am. <laughs> Just the way I am. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's where I draw the line this week. Uh, thank you guys so very much uh, for uh, participating. And now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. We've got quite a few this week. I thought there were some pretty good ones. Uh, the first one is things you should not have to ex- explain to an adult. I got a good one for this. Go ahead. You should never have to explain to an adult that nobody really wants to see pictures of your fucking children. You should what about automatically pictures assume. Of my dick. You want to see some of those? That's fine. You should have to explain that to some people. Some people don't w- pull it out. Some your people phone. want to <laughs> see <laughs> your phone. <laughs> some people want to see pictures of kids. They'll ask you if they want to. No, I don't. I di- di- just stop. look at Johnny. Yeah, look yeah. at look, look at look at my kid. Isn't my kid so beautiful? And you're just like, yeah. So I know, I know this, like a kid. I know this like lady. Yeah, I know this lady. That's not a picture, but. She's always like, my whatever did this this weekend, or my I can't really say the names because they might listen. to My the show. grandson, right? My grandson oh. or my granddaughter. Oh, can you believe? I don't fucking care. I don't care. Shut up and fucking do the dishes. Yeah, exactly. Shut like, up and I, fucking make the cakes. You know what? Care. Nobody wants to fucking hear no. about your fucking grandkids. Exactly. Man. That's that's mine. Grandmas are the same as children as yeah. far as how I react to their stories. Sure. And that is, oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, right. And that's all they need. They just yeah. need a response. Well, yeah. They need to shut the fuck up. They don't need you being like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, right. Like, that's great. All right, now moving on. Uh, But no, how about you, JP? What's yours? He just said. Oh. Yeah, things that you should never have to explain to an adult. Where the clitoris is. (laughs) (laughs) That's it. Yeah. You should never have to. I'm gay and I know. My answer is be quiet during comedy shows. Oh, yeah, that's a go. that's that's a good one right there. I'll Too much that. liquor involved. Yeah, in that happens deal. all the time, all dude. The time. And what one hundred percent without fail? If the somebody worst is gets when it's kicked, another comic. If somebody gets kicked out of a comedy show, their re- reaction is all I was doing was laughing. Yeah, and it's like that's not true. You were <laughs> you were commenting. <laughs> You were being a cunt. <laughs> and yeah, and if it's another comic, that's yeah, almost that's worse. The but worst. I've also been that guy before, Ooh. and I didn't realize I was doing anything wrong. So I feel both sides of that. But I was also like 16, uh, drinking pitchers of beer at the comedy That's how club. Mike got his comedy start. And somebody said, you think you could do a better job? He's like, I do. And he got up there, and he grabbed the mic, and the rest is history. That's not true. But yeah. <laughs> okay. But I, it was all, all true. that took place inside my head. Good. Like, oh yeah, you think this guy's better than you? Nope, you do not. I did also think of another one to add on to this particular question, and that is take a fucking shower. Yeah. Take a shower. Oh, take a fucking shower once a day, hey, uh, at least. Hey man, I'm going to right after the show. I worked You're all fine. fucking day. You just bro. smell like weed. It's not bad. You don't you have be. bo. It's yeah, the bo I, people. I've never caught bo from you. Yeah, you're fine. Just, I know who I have reefer. caught bo from. <laughs> That's this gross. microphone fucking <laughs> smells like ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Derek. Uh, anyways, next one comes in from Cameron Barber. He wants to know if you had to get one movie quote tattooed on you, what would it be? It's the circle of life, but I want it to be circled <laughs> around my asshole. Oh, that's absolutely disgusting. Really? Yeah. That's what you're picking? I guess. All right. Here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I wake up in the morning and I piss excellence. <laughs> that's mine. Are you getting it on your dick? 
Uh, <laughs> I mean, no. I think like next <laughs> next to it though, like if, on my if thigh. If he tattooed that on his dick, his dick would be boy. <laughs> that's a, it's yeah. not a lot of space to work. I, I, I would run out of room. Yeah, yeah. you got to put it on your thigh, pointing to your dick is okay. what you got to do. How about you there, uh, Mike? Uh, I didn't. I uh, clever girl. Uh, that's Clever it. Clever girl. That's it. Yeah. From Jurassic, yeah, Park, from Jurassic you know? Park. But I would put it like right above my dick so a girl could only see it <laughs> oh, once she's blowing me. Nice. That'll work. Uh, next one is coming in from Caden Shell. He wants to know if. Hate him. Ca- okay. If Cupid. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't even know. Uh, if Cupid's arrow didn't make people fall in love, what effect would it have? It's a great question, Caden. <laughs> And I'd answer it if I fucking gave a fuck about you. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, it's not your fault that your name's I Kate. think it should make you gay. <laughs> oh, poor guy. But that would still be a falling in love. No, no, you don't have to fall in love. But it would it would do what <laughs> Cuba does, which would make you lust for the cock. other person who got the arrow. <laughs> God, just cock in general. That's what happened to me. <laughs> I was struck by Cupid's arrow. And my, then my, I started sucking dick. My answer would just be a horrible arrow wound. Oh, yeah, okay. just, just, the fucking just like, I'm Cupid. And I'm like, oh, I think it's going to get infected. Like on Caddyshack, if I pull out the arrow, <laughs> will you suck on the poison? I've Rick. never never actually seen that movie. Really, dude? Yeah. I'm, wow. Yeah. Sorry. I guess I'm old. A raging erection that you can't get rid of. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. I, I I would. Oh, God. I would mess with people so bad if that was the case. I think they call that a Scotty. Is that what it is? They do now. Oh, okay. That's fine. What was that? I uh, His microphone cup is coming off, and that's probably what stinks. Mm. <clears throat> you should <clears throat> wash it. Making sure that. Yeah, for oh, real. Making sure it's staying on there. Uh, next one comes in from Chris Tenerella. Uh He wants to know. Stop. <laughs> If penalties could be called during sex, what would they be? <laughs> Personal foul. <laughs> because I, you smell personally foul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Now we're talking. Uh, defensive pass interference. Defensive ass interference. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Defensive ass interference. Uh, but more or less probably for me would be unnecessary roughness. That would be a couch penalty. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever penalty is no, you, when you're not supposed to be in the backfield. Oh, yeah. That would be the one. Uh, something downfield or something. Too many like. men in the backfield. Too many men in the backfield. <laughs> God, sounds like a Saturday <laughs> night Too many men in the huddle. Yeah. Too many men in the huddle. Yeah, there you right. go. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Uh, next one comes in from Nathan Hicks. He wants to know rejected model names for cars. I, I, dude, this one hit, this one hit like really hard, really quickly for me. I immediately thought like a GMC big ass van and call it the predator. Dude, that's awesome. That's, uh, that's the, don't they have thing. a predator? No. I mean, oh, prowler, oh, prowler, prowler. Yeah. prowler. And then I was thinking the Raptor, the Ford Raptor. Well, that's a good name. Same thing. I was thinking I was, I oh, combined oh, those two. I, I got like you. if you made. Oh, the, yeah. the prowler into a truck. Yeah. You can call that the predator. You I could. Like it. Yeah. The predator and yeah. make it only like shades of candy colors. Nice. That'd be good. How about you, Mike? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. Uh, next one comes in from a serial killer. This is Mark Aaron Deffenbaugh. Yep, definitely a serial killer. MAD. He's mad. Mm. <clears throat> anyway. Man, he's got it going on. He sure does. Uh, what's something? All the signs are there. What's something you can do to never get invited to a Super Bowl party ever again? Break, Break the TV. Break the TV. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. But what are the odds you're going to break a TV twice? <laughs> <clears throat> I mean probably pretty low they ain't letting you come back right you know what i mean but i mean if i was if that guy was like hey can i you guys think that i can come to the party this year (laughs) and i'd be like you gotta stay fucking calm (laughs) we're handcuffing you to the couch yeah that's fine just (sighs) bring me some (laughs) snacks so yeah that's what i was gonna say you could be like instead of like going and hanging out with everybody and watching the game you could just go and just eat all, all the, the food. food. You could just literally just stand in the kitchen the whole time, just eating all the food. Eating They'd probably their, not eating their back. queso with a right. spoon. Yeah. Well, like, oh. Do you want a chip or something? No, nope, no, I'm, I'm good. good. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about finished the off. <laughs> Get way too shit face drunk yeah, and just be a just problem. Be, yeah. Uh, 
And I know because I've seen me do it. You could let him know you're <coughs> gay. That worked for me. They didn't really? let me back after that. Man. But is that why, or is it because you were also an asshole? <laughs> Sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was only because I'm gay. Right. <laughs> As you heard, eating their queso with a spoon. And <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> like taking a shower or whatever. Like, yeah. what the fuck, dude? Don't you just. You got any extra towels or do you want me to use this one shower? in the bathroom? Showers are something you have to get permission for. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to close with Taylor Moroski. Hey, hey, don't hey, call uh, it a comeback. Oh, sorry. That was that one. Sorry about that. Welcome back, Taylor. Yeah. Welcome back, Taylor. She wants to know uh, rejected names for restaurant meals. Oh, God. The I, colon cleanser. That mm. just reminds me of Louis C.K. talking about uh, ordering from uh, Cinnabon. Because everything there is just so unhealthy. And he, <laughs> do you know what joke I'm talking about? No. He goes, they should just call it the fat faggot meal. Because <laughs> then you have to say it. Like, hi, I'll take a fat faggot meal, please. Here you go, you fat faggot. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that was Louis saying that. I didn't say any of those things. It's JP, that's just one of his favorite that's words. That's good, yeah. I, I want one of those meals. <laughs> That one really? If, yeah. Okay. I mean, at this point, I'm game. <laughs> you got anything for a meal? Uh, like a like a bad nickname for a meal. The cock meat sandwich. <laughs> okay, that's the McRib. Yeah, that's what. Same that thing. Is. Same thing. Same thing. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for participating in Monday Fun Day. All of you guys had pretty damn good suggestions. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, Thank you very much, and keep your eyes posted for Monday, uh, and you'll have another opportunity. Uh, now we get to move on to one of, uh, well, the, one of the more popular parts of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Um, draft. Yeah, for what it's worth, Derek won last week. And he ain't here. So that means JP won. He gets his magic I, I technically dust. win a lot. You technically win a lot, yeah. yes. I never win, win. But so, I win, and then the poor schmuck that one's not here the next <laughs> that's week. That's right. <laughs> that happens a lot. This is your chance to change that. That's true. You have an opportunity. Here we Let's go. Let's see what happens. Um, but naturally, in the uh, Super Bowl hangover spirit, uh, we are going to do uh, our favorite Super Bowl halftime shows. Um, and because JP got second, he gets the championship picks. I took dead last, as usual. So that means I get the sandwich picks. And then Mike hasn't been here in five weeks, so he gets the first overall pick of our favorite Super Bowl halftime shows. Take it away, Mike. All right. First, I would say <clears throat> if we were instead doing national anthems, I would pick Whitney Houston. And I would pick Chris Stapleton. Because so. Whitney Houston did the best. She did. And I would pick Roseanne Barr. <laughs> <laughs> she actually didn't do terrible. Yeah, Roseanne? As bad as everybody makes yeah. it sound. But anyway, my, my first pick for best halftime. Okay. The one that sticks out the most in my mind over the years. Janet and Justin Timberlake. Ah, uh, damn it. The wardrobe malfunction yeah, year. Yeah, that's true. We got to see a tit. Kind of. Sort of. It was like a pasty over it, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's <clears throat> not a tit. That um, doesn't count. Yeah, you know. But uh, I... there. See, with me, there's one that was so phenomenal that the person that was the headline of it stood for over a minute and did nothing, and people were still going ape shit. And it was my favorite one I've watched on YouTube. I didn't watch it live because I was too young. Uh, but I'm going to go with the Michael Jackson. Mm, that's a good one. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. amazing. Well, dude, he's a phenomenal performer. What Absolutely. year were you born? 1987. Yeah, okay. Did, so yeah. so, so you, that was, was in like, 93, so yeah. you were like six. I, I didn't watch it live, but whenever I get bored in the middle of the night, yeah. I will go through and I will look at stuff in that I watched from the beginning to the end and it was fucking amazing. So. Nice. I agree. That was a good <sighs> one and it was on my list and you son of a bitch. <laughs> 
And JP, you get two in a row now. Nice. I can't believe you guys didn't take this. I'm hoping it's you- on everybody's. It's the first on almost everybody's list. I know it should a, be. Yeah, Prince, yeah, man. Prince. Oh, it was fucking phenomenal, dude. Not being a Prince Purple fan. Purple rain in the rain. I know. Not being a and Prince fan. Fuck. I get it. I, I he's just not one of my faves. It, oh, and so dude, it, it's it, amazing. But I understand. It was an yeah. amazing show. Oh, so, it yeah. was phenomenal. And you get another one. Uh, I'm going to go with Jim Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, ZZ Top. The Blues Brothers the Blues year. Brothers Blues year, Brothers year, 1997. Okay. That's, that's a fucking great one, man. Yeah. Um, it was a good one. James Brown. Yeah. Um, good God. Yeah. I, <laughs> and, and then I, I, Initially, when this was coming out, I was so fucking pumped and hyped and ready to go for it, and I accidentally gave like really high expectations, and it still blew me out of the fucking water. And that would be in 2022 when it was Dre, Snoop, yeah, Fitty, that was and Eminem. Fuck that you. Was that was awesome. my next pick. That you was piece of shit. fucking awesome. It I love awesome. every minute of it. It was awesome. And everybody made fun of Fitty coming in upside down, and uh-huh. I thought that was cool as shit. Yeah. yeah. So I am going to take that one. All, All right. right. Now, Mike, you get two in a row. Uh, well, I'm sorry for doing this to you, JP. I assume this is on your list as well. Lady Gaga. Ooh. Was it on your list? Because I'm a gay? Yes. <laughs> it was not on my list. Uh, wow. When was that? The, she was like 21, I think, or uh, 22? Yeah. Something like right 22 was the one I just selected, so yeah. Then she was the year or two before that, but yeah, she did good. And then I, the other one uh, that I'm going to say right now, I forget what year this was, but I know it was in the 2000s, and that is Tom Petty and the Heartbreak. Oh, oh, you son of a bitch. I actually pushed a button. All of oh, us are pissed. Dude, I'm the biggest Tom Petty fan. I, w- I saved that one because I didn't think anybody would go for it. I'm actually shocked. Yeah, that's a, that's oh, one. Wow. That's the one I was saving, you son of a bitch. Damn it to hell. Well, well what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, so now I get one that has come back to me. And this is going to show my fucking age. Uh, and it was back in 2001, and that would be Aerosmith in sync. Yeah. Britney Spears. But my favorite part of it <sighs> was when Nelly came out at the very Nelly end. Nelly and, and Mary J. Blige, and Mary dude. J. Blige, dude. That fucking phenomenal. Fucking awesome. I'll just scratch that off here it. real quick. <laughs> we all have a lot of the same picks. I'm actually kind of Well, kinda there's shocked. only so, so many, many to choose that's, from. That's true. That's true. And some of them are real bad. <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. Uh, JP, well, you get two in a row, man. Uh, 2002. Okay. You too. You too. All right. It was pretty fucking awesome. I knew pretty that phenomenal. somebody was going to do it. And mm-hmm. then in 2012, the queen herself, Madonna. Madonna. Yep. You can have that one yep. all day That was a good long. fucking, that was a really good one, man. Whatever. Because okay. I'm going to go ahead and take it because it was fucking awesome. And I can't believe it lasted this long. I'm going to go with the Black Eyed Peas, man. Yeah. That one. was an awesome show. And I was not a huge Black Eyed Peas fan. Yeah. Until the Super Bowl. And I was like, that was fucking dope. So that's what I'm going to take. Mike, you get your last two. Oh, shit. Um, I barely remember this. I don't know how old I was. Oh, no, I guess this is the year that I graduated high school. But it was still, uh, they called it the celebration of soul, salsa, and swing. But the headliner was Gloria Estefan. Okay. And I think she also had, like, Stevie Wonder was there. Yeah. Yeah, there are a bunch of people that year. That was a good one. Yep. Oh, and I get one more? Yeah, this is your last pick. Oh, shit. I've got a couple that I could go at, and so I'm 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 okay. So take whatever you want. Um Ooh. Yeah, I'm I'm torn between two and i don't i'm i just recognize the names i don't remember the actual performances so i don't know Mm -hmm. how awesome it was but i'm gonna just say oh fuck it paul mccartney okay yeah that's that's a very mike baldwin pick that was in 2005 yeah yeah and i'm sure he did good i'm gonna watch it tonight to to be mad at my choice but i uh, oh it's my turn it came back oh fuck okay uh, i've got actually quite a few that i i 
I really, really liked. So don't pick the one I want. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to. Good. I honestly don't. Uh, man. I'll punch you. <laughs> You'll punch me? Don't punch me. Not during the show. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, we don't like to promote violence. Yeah, I'm going to be I'm gonna be honest because there's one that I think was probably an overall better show, uh, but they're, the one that I want to pick are two absolutely amazingly beautiful women, and that would be Jennifer Lopez and Shakira. Okay. Oh, okay. I, re- I really liked that one. I have a thing for Shakira. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, I have God. a thing for half-naked chicks that are hot also. Oh, no, but she's Hispanic, man. It, oh. Yeah? Oh, yeah. That means she has hairy arms. I don't care. She she whack it. She can you know, whack You it. know what they say about women with hairy arms? Uh, they're they have probably hairy buttholes dudes. too. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're probably, probably dudes. dudes. And JP, this is your very last pick. 2014, Bruno yep, Mars and the, the Red one. Hot Chili Peppers. That yeah, was, that was a good one. That was the one I was kind of going back and forth, but that was really God good. Damn! I, and then uh, did somebody do Boys to Men? No, I thought about I it. I thought it about was that on my one, list, but I I didn't. I have not seen that. I just know I love Boys to Men. And then you got the Country Crew. Um, I saw it. Uh, With Ro- the Judds and shit. Yeah. Uh, but the other one that I was kind of, I almost picked was Maroon 5. Yeah. yeah. Maroon I 5 was a good too, show. Yeah. yeah. I'd love me some Adam Levine. Yeah, but no, 94 was Clint, Bla- uh, Clint Black, uh, Tanya Tucker, Travis Tritt, and the Judds. Tanya Tucker. Tanya Tucker? Did I say Tanya? It's very My important bad. to us. Well, uh, then you got uh, Phil Collins was a really good one. That was on a lot that was really low on a lot of people's list, but man, nobody this year. No no usher, huh? No. No. I didn't Not shucks. when you're talking about the best ever. Yeah, no. On this it list though. Definitely not. On this list, it's 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 up there as far as yeah. rankings go. It's over Maroon 5 and that's a bunch of bullshit. But anyways, that's why I picked Lady Gaga in my list because her actual performance yeah, was, was really good. good. It was really, it was good. really and good. And you could tell that she was singing and that's what bothered me about Usher. Is like yeah it's like dude you're just dancing around and throwing in like half lines and, and shit. you're sweating come on man just cool off i like that part jesus christ <laughs> i La- thought that was probably coolest part ladies and gentlemen you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or x which is at lot sidelines and vote for the list uh that has the most of your favorite uh super bowl halftime performances Whoever wins gets absolutely nothing. Yeah. Uh, actually, I take that back. Uh, JP has some uh, parting gifts uh, from a previous show that yeah. he might be able to yeah. part with. Whoever wins this week gets a suction cup dildo. <laughs> <laughs> For what it's worth. Uh, <laughs> By the way, don't smell it. <laughs> oh, God. I've had it for a few weeks now. I don't want to see it. <laughs> That's gross. Uh, I put it on... <laughs> I put one on this girl I work with on her car, like on the fucking windshield, <laughs> you told like us. a unicorn, man. You told and uh, she found it. Hey, did you put it on Derek's bowling ball? No, I want to. Damn it, you uh, should. He's waiting for me to do it to someone else, so <laughs> I'm waiting till he forgets about it to do it to him. <laughs> oh, that'll be great. Please don't put dildos on anything of mine. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, man. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by JP and his dildos. Dildo. Let me get one out for you. No, two. There's, yeah. Let me get it out for you. <laughs> yeah. Is it in your pocket? Well, you could say you that. You could say that. Yeah. Some and, people uh, have said that. And uh, also, congratulations as well to <laughs> Mike Baldwin on hitting 100,000 views yeah. on his special. Yeah. Comedy special. That's right. If My- you haven't seen it yet, go and check it out. Yeah, it's on. Uh, it's uh, embedded on my website, mikeisfunny.com. There you go. And, uh, yeah, did a great job on that special. There. Thanks, buddy. Um, all right. This week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation is Would You Rather... Go to a Super Bowl party where your team loses and break somebody else's television or host said Super Bowl party and have somebody come over and break your TV. 
Can I go first? Sure. Absolutely. I would absolutely 100% rather have it be at my party. Really? Have my TV broken and get to be mad at somebody else and force them to pay for it. Sure. As opposed to me being that the piece of shit. That is 100% my answer. Really? I mean, to a T, bro. Yeah, I don't want to be That's the exactly guy. exactly why, too. I've been yep. that guy, not broken TV, but I've been that guy in so many other situations in my life. Dude, that, that is exactly, you're dead on to what I was going to say. Thank you. So I choose that yeah, one. Yeah, me too. Come break For my exactly TV. For exactly the same reasons. Then I get a new TV. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and I'm going to get an upgrade. I'm not going right. to. Yeah. And you kind of owe me pay. one forever. Right. right. Yeah, clean sweep. Right. It's right a clean on. sweep. That guy, if you're that guy that breaks the TV, not only are you paying for another TV, you are probably burning bridges for right. friendships. Yeah. yeah, you're carrying around a, a, a yes. an aura around there, you forever. There is that's nothing. the asshole that broke my TV. Yeah. Right. Of course, yeah. there, there is nothing worse as well than waking up the next morning and realizing what you did, mm -hmm. and then having to make the phone calls of apologizing and and I was an asshole and stuff. It's part of the reason why I quit drinking for a while was because it's like, yeah, I don't want to be that guy yeah and uh you and don't quit drinking anymore I, I i drink occasionally now okay but i don't i never get the way that i used to not even close um but yeah it it, it is not cool to break somebody else's shit <laughs> And I would much rather be in the situation of, of that guy already knows you're buying me a new TV. You are paying me back, and it's there's no questions. So, uh, yeah, I'd rather be that. All right. Yeah. So that's nice. Clean Sweep this week, fellas. Clean Sweep. That's right. And, guys, thank you very much for being a part of the episode yeah, this man, week, it Mike. It was a lot of fun. Mike, yeah, thanks for having it's me. It's been a while. Uh, do go check Mike out on MikeIsFunny.com. Follow, follow him on the Twitters as well. Yes. JP doesn't You can follow much. me on Grinder. You can if you want. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, but, hey, man, it's your loss. All right, I'll download it. <laughs> what is this, some new right. social yeah. media? It's, 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 yeah, it's like a website. Oh, that's bad. Uh, but you can also follow JP on Facebook. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Fuck yeah, you'll be so entertained. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's good time. Good, good time. time. Uh, but guys, you uh, seriously, thank you very, very much. We sincerely do appreciate. It. We got a lot of new followers on all the social medias. Thank you for telling uh, uh, telling your friends about us because that's apparently uh, how you get that out. Shout out to my high school buddy Mike Goad, who oh, is yeah? a listener. I saw him do something for Monday Fun Day this. That's cool. Oh, this nice. time. So shout out to him. Uh, fucking great dude, man. Yeah. Lots of good memories. And shout out to some new fans that I have that I <laughs> that, that I would have never gotten if it wasn't for this show. It's happened multiple times that's, now. Where that's great. Dude, that's awesome. People will either comment on, on a video of mine or something, or I've had people actually walk up to me at comedy shows and been okay. like, dude, if you weren't on Laughing on the Sidelines, I never would have heard of you. That's awesome. So nice. thank you for helping me expand my very small fan base and that's like in other states too isn't it yes it, isn't that crazy it kind of is uh -huh. yeah awesome. yeah it's it's crazy uh but that's the whole point of the show the whole point of the show is to get stand-up comedy out there especially with these guys that are in our area because they're our favorites uh, but yeah so thank you guys very very much for doing what you do it helps the show out keep doing what you're doing and uh as we always like to say guys if you like us do us a favor and tell your friends but if you don't like us we hope you go to a swedish amusement park and the motherfucker blows up <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us tell your enemies and until next time guys hi boy the best burgers in independence missouri <laughs> Fuck yeah. until next time keep, keep laughing, laughing assholes. assholes we will see you later take care <laughs>